everyone, this is Rachel or Clanthiel Tan, and today I want to do a review of the 124th or half scale ball jointed doll made by Solar's Art, S O L E R S A R T. The name of the sculpt is Cherry, and you can purchase her on eBay from the artist who sells under the username. S-O-L-E-R-S-A-R-T and you can find pictures of this sculpt by me and by several other owners of this sculpt on Instagram under the hashtag SolarsArt. Same spelling. I want to do a little review because when I was getting ready to purchase her and try and make a final decision I really couldn't find any information other than just that the artist has really good reviews on eBay which was encouraging and the pictures that other owners had posted on Instagram. So I'm hoping this will be helpful information. The price of this doll was, I believe, $120 plus $20 shipping. It's at least in that ballpark anyway. I'm not entirely certain. You can look it up and see what the current price is on eBay under the artist profile. The doll for that price came with the nude doll and a pair of heels. They're very, very, very tiny and they have little bows on them. And three hair pieces. This one, which I painted, it came blank, just like the doll. This one, which I just haven't used yet, and so doesn't have any paint still, so it's exactly as it came. And a blank, like, scalp piece that you can add your own hair to. I attached my hair with the school glue so that if I ever get tired of it, I can just drop the pe you know, the little hair piece in a cup of water and the glue will dissolve and I can put on different hair. And all of the pieces have a little peg in the middle that fits into a hole in her head. The posability is I kind of have mixed feelings about I think she would pose like a dream if she was wired I'm just a little nervous to do so because she's so tiny I don't think I could tape the ends of the wires and I'd be concerned about the wires poking out of her plastic but I do think I'll probably wire her eventually just so she can hold poses better because she is I did purchase her for a dollhouse I have and so I do kind of want her to be able to hold different poses and just like leave her there for a few days in the dollhouse. But I can show you what she she is her posing is exactly as she came, which I guess is really good for the purposes of this reveal. She sits like a dream. You know, she doesn't have to sit like with her legs spread eagled, like some dolls do. She has a very natural posing. Her arms also have a very nice range of motion. And again, if they were wired, she could do things like this, but she's not wired at this point. Her head has an incredible range of motion. And when you add the motion of the torso joint, she can do things like arch her back and look up. Her arms and legs do lock into position pretty well, so if you need them straight for some reason, they're pretty good about that. Her legs are quite kicky though, very similar to like the resin sole dolls I have before I wired them. But I am very, very impressed with her posability especially considering her size and so far um, she can't necessarily hold poses 
but like there's especially for her size there's nothing no pose I've ever tried to put her in that she just wasn't able to do I would heartily 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 recommend her for anyone who's looking for a ball jointed doll for their half scale or 124th scale dollhouse because she is really the only option on the market that's less than a thousand dollars and I'm not exaggerating here when I did research uh, th she's really the only affordable price point option so if you need if you need a half scale ball jointed doll for your dollhouse buy her quickly before the artist decides she's not gonna make her anymore like she's really I would say we're very we're very lucky if this is the affordable option Sh she's a beautiful one uh, I would also recommend her though if you're looking for a doll for your dolls that's really nice I've taken some pictures with my other dolls and she very naturally poses with other dolls and it's the effect is very adorable I actually might at the end of this video do like a little slideshow with some of the photos I've taken of this doll so you can get an even better idea of some of the poses she can do and what she looks like interacting with other dolls and she makes a really nice I've seen some other Instagrammers that have this doll like taking photos of her with pieces of candy or among flowers and so she'd make a really nice fairy or you know tiny person or like you know if you wanted to do the girl from um, what was the Miyazaki version of the borrowers um, Secret World of Arietti yeah if you wanted a little Arietti I think she's the right size and so she's she's very affordable especially for a ball jointed doll especially for an artist doll and if you're looking for just a small very small very impressive little doll that's an especially an affordable price point I'm delighted with her overall I will probably wire her eventually and she, I should mention she is an absolute nightmare to make clothes for um, this is, <laughs> she only has two pieces of clothing right now. This that I hand sewed from a thin cashmere, or maybe it was Angora sweater, but like some kind of very fine wool. And it looks extremely bulky on her. It looks almost cartoonish, but it does work. And then this was like a gauzy yarn, and I just literally sewed it in a tube to be like a little um, chemise for her or something. I've tried poly pocket clothes, but they're so stiff. I think if they were made of fabric, they would work, but they're so stiff, they just don't. If I discover any kind of like cloth ready-made clothes that do fit her, I will add that to the description below. And if you have one of these dolls or you have a clothing idea that might fit her, please comment below and mention it. I am planning on doing a size comparison video with this girl before I put her away and that should be getting uploaded around the same time as this one so if you're interested in this girl be sure to check her out I'll try to remember to include the link for buying this doll below and right real quick before I go I do want to show you the little carrying case I made for her I used an Altoid wintergreen tin I got these mints for Christmas and once I'd used them up I got this doll around the same time and so I took this fuzzy material and just literally just used school glue to attach it inside here the thought process being it's a good size for it and even if she does shake around a little the fuzz on all sides will prevent her from being damaged in transit she goes in there and I normally keep all the little pieces she came with in this box as well um, because of the material I added it sometimes pops open so if I'm actually going to take her anywhere I wrap a piece of yarn or ribbon around it just for extra peace of mind so yeah this is my 124th scale 
ball jointed doll from Solar's Art. I have named her Alice Buttons. And I hope you enjoyed this little review. Thank you for watching this video. If you're interested in other ball jointed doll reviews and crafting videos and stuff like that, be sure to check out my channel. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.